Stop domestic violence. It's always, always wrong, and it's never, ever right. This family here, Miss Welch, uh, they were a mom and two sisters murdered by this man here, their brother. Uh, what, what in the world's going on? Uh, this, this is crazy. God bless the family and friends. Damn. of killing three of his family members in a shooting in Ridgeland is now dead. Ridgeland Police Chief Brian Meyer says Ivory James Welch III was killed in a shootout with law enforcement in Arizona. Arizona State Troopers found him near the New Mexico state line. Police say Welch fired at troopers and troopers returned fire, killing him. Welch was accused of killing his mother and sisters, and tonight, Three Near Sides' Morgan Harris continues our breaking news coverage after speaking with friends of the victims. Ridgeland police were asked to conduct a welfare check at a home on Old Canton Road Sunday afternoon. They arrived and discovered the bodies of three women inside the house. Police say Ida Welch and her two daughters, Crystal and Vicki Welch, had been shot to death. Investigators later identified the suspect as the son of Ida, Ivory James Welch III. Welch was spotted by police in Arizona Monday. He got into a gunfight with troopers and was shot and killed during the altercation. A close friend of Crystal Welch says she's in shock that someone would take the life of such a beautiful person. Crystal was just a, a true delight. She was just a superwoman. She was a fun-loving, intellectual, um, very passionate about her work. She was on so many boards. Um, she really cared about people. She was a people person. She was a giver. Welch was an attorney in the metro area. Multiple organizations releasing statements about the tragedy, including the ACLU of Mississippi, where Crystal Welch served as the president of the board of directors. The statement reading in part, our staff and board will forever be grateful for her commitment to equality and justice. Her passion for life, infectious spirit and enthusiasm will be missed. We lost three lives. These are generations, two generations of family. This, this is a sad situation. No word yet on a possible motive. Chief Brian Meyer says that this is a great example of teamwork within law enforcement that led to Stop domestic violence. It's not right. And after the three women were found shot to death in a home in Ridgeland. A Mississippi family torn apart by violence. Four members gunned down in a matter of days. According to Ridgeland police, Ivory Welch III was identified as a suspect in a shooting that killed his mother and two sisters. Welch went on the run to Arizona after the shooting at a house on Old Canton Road in Ridgeland. When Arizona state troopers tried to capture Welch Monday, they say he shot at the troopers and was fatally wounded in the gunfight. This hits really close to home. The investigation started on Mother's Day after police forced their way into the house. Once inside, they found three women all shot to death 76-year-old Ida Thomas Welch, her two daughters, Renee Welch, 56, along with 42-year-old Crystal Welch. Crystal Welch was an attorney. Many say she touched lives young and old. I've known Crystal since she was in law school, and it's the same person every time you saw her. You know, she was one of those people, when you see her, you just felt better <laughs> after leaving her. John Hall is incoming president of the Magnolia Bar, a group of African-American lawyers. She understood the value of being an African-American lawyer and a lot of times it's a thankless job. Welch was board president of the ACLU of Mississippi, and she worked as an associate professor at Mississippi College School of Law, where one of her last events was graduation this past Friday. For that to be one of the last things that she did um, speaks volumes because that law school was very important to her as she was to it. Welch's friends and colleagues describe her biggest contribution as her commitment to helping families and children in adoption cases. As far as adoptions in Mississippi, um, she was a pillar of that type of work and, you know, has helped make hundreds of families better by doing adoptions. I've gotten so many calls from members who knew her, who worked with her. She had such a commitment to excellence uh, with everything that she did. 
And we have heard from so many people across the spectrum just heartbroken and shocked at this tragedy, at the loss of Crystal Welch and her mom and sister. Now, experts say if you're having struggle coping or grappling with what's happening, they say you should seek out mental health professionals who can help you navigate this emotional roller coaster. But right now, police haven't said what the motive may have been behind that shooting. For now, we're live in downtown Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. A crucial reminder here, help is available. If you or anyone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the phone number there on your screen or simply text the word START to 88788. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.